obviously it's a really good uh, atmosphere in the team at the moment. When you win a lot of games, when you are on top of the table, it's uh, it's just happy people around. Uh, but we are still hungry. We the season is still long, uh, so we keep yeah training hard, and uh, so we are waiting every for every game. Yeah, Emma Hayes has said that the priority for you this year is, is winning the Champions League. Do you share that belief? Do you think it's achievable for you as, as a team? And what is the sort of goal this season for Chelsea FC? Yeah, I mean, uh, the goal goal is to win as much as possible. Uh, yeah, the Champions League, that would be huge to win that. And I think we will we will go all in for that. But also the, the league in England, obviously, we want to win the championship as well. Um, so, yeah, to go and, and, and win as much as possible. What was it that made the move to the WSL and to Chelsea specifically so appealing to you? I could see how the the league, first of all, was developing uh, a lot over the last years. And then obviously also Chelsea, um, a lot of really great signings. And in the same time, already a lot of good players in the team. Uh, I feel like it has, yeah, it had the potential to to be one of the best teams in Europe. So that's that's why I want to go there. How have you adapted to life at Chelsea? Because it looks as though from the outside, like it's been a pretty smooth settling in and getting comfortable for you. Yeah, it has been going really well uh, with settling. Uh, the girls are really nice and amazing players. I have a lot of fun in training, uh, training so many amazing players and also playing games. Um, obviously, it has been a bit weird with the, with Corona. Uh, <laughs> in society so I haven't like outside football haven't really been able to to experience London yet but uh, it will come in the future. Absolutely. One day not too far away hopefully you'll be seeing all the sights and eating and all the lovely restaurants and yeah. you of course signed for a world record fee with that did it bring with it sort of a weight of expectation and have you felt any sort of additional pressure? Yeah I think always it will uh, bring some kind of expectations from people when you when you get like a, a price uh, like this on you. Um, I haven't really been feeling it that much. I've just been focusing on on my game, performing in training and in the games, uh, like always, that I always want to. You won a lot with Wolfsburg. You've personally won a lot of individual accolades, two UEFA Women's Player of the Year awards, to name just two of them. How proud are you of what you've achieved so far in your career? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of what I have been achieving until now, uh, but I'm not really staying in the past. I'm a person that wants to want more uh, I stay hungry and want to develop even more as a player and I want to win more. Uh, it doesn't have to be individual awards, but I want to win titles and uh, yeah, I'm really hungry to win titles with Chelsea. Off the pitch as well, we know you're so passionate about gender equality and, and equal opportunity and you spoke at length about it recently on the, the football podcast from UEFA Together. Do you think we're a long way off equal opportunity in football or are we getting closer? I think we're getting closer, but I also think that we are a long way yet to have equal opportunities, uh, especially in, uh, in a young age, I think. Uh, if you look at opportunities young boys have compared to young girls I think there is a huge difference and that's where it all starts uh, I think it would be amazing if young girls could have the same quality and coaches the same facilities in a really early age uh, yeah to to get those opportunities to to just develop to yeah to high quality later on is it just about having access to the same facilities or are there other things that you think need to change as well? Uh, yeah, first of all, I think it's about the facilities that we get the same opportunities uh, with everything around. And obviously also that as many professional football, women's football players we can have who live off the football with the money, uh, it will also make the quality even better. So that's also part of it. But uh, I know that equality in terms of uh, salaries is difficult and that's not what we search for first of all that's that's more like the facilities and the opportunities to to be as good as possible how much has women's football evolved since you started playing oh it has developed a lot since since i started and um, also just the last yeah since i, I left denmark and played the outside denmark i think a lot has happened so year by year it, it goes in the right direction and i feel like more players and uh, idols kind of are speaking up 
about the changes they want that we want and i think that that speed up the process a bit 